Welcome to the homework for lesson 27. This is grade 3. This is module 5. Get your name on here first before you forget it. And it says use the pictures to model equivalent fractions. Equivalent, same thing as equal, pretty much. Uh, fill in the blanks and answer the questions. Two tenths is equal to how many fifths? So here we're going to use this. The tenths are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's 10 equal parts. So 2 of them is 2 tenths. And this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are fifths. So I need 1 to match up. I need 1, 2 tenths equal to 1 fifth. 2 tenths equal to 1 fifth. The whole stays the same. Right? Look at the endpoints of these rectangles. They match up. So that says, tells you that the holes are the same. What happened to the size of the equal parts when there were less equal parts? So for, for fifths, what happened to the fifths? When you have 10 equal parts, they're smaller. When you have five equal parts, they're larger. So the parts are larger. And that's why it takes fewer of them. It only takes one-fifth to equal two-tenths. And on this side, uh, there's one-third. Here's a third shaded in. And it takes one, two, three of the ninths. So one-third is equal to three-ninths. And this is what it looks like in fractional notation. The whole stays the same. What happened to the size of the equal parts when there were more equal parts? See, now when there were more equal parts, the parts get When there's less equal parts, the parts get larger. When there are more equal parts, the parts get smaller. Eight students share two pizzas that are the same size, represented in the two circles below. They notice that the first pizza is cut into four equal sl slices, and the second is cut into eight equal slices. How can the eight students share the pizzas equally without cutting any of the pieces? So the first pizza is four. Here's the thing about circles, is that the, they... The partitions have to be drawn through the center as much as you can, or they won't look right. All right, so that's four equal pieces. This pizza number one. Pizza number one and pizza number two. Uh, how can the students share, and how many students are there? There's eight students. How can they share this pizza equally without cutting any of the pieces? Well, let's see. We need, we're going to have students. One, two. I'm making some really sloppy looking stick people here. Four. Five, six, and you may, maybe you already know this. You don't have to draw these stick people, but it helps me think about how there's eight different people. So let's say student number one gets this quarter slice. And then student number two would get this one, and three would get that one, and four would get that one. And now we're looking at some other students. Student number five can get this blue slice there. And student six could get this slice here. And student seven 
can get those two eighths and then student eight can get these two eighths which is the same so they they're all getting a quarter slice of pizza and that works out they all get the same so uh, the question here is how can the eight students share the pizzas equally without cutting any of the pizzas pieces um, Each student gets one fourth or two eighths of a pizza. And then I'm just going to add in a little bit more and say one fourth equals two eighths. When the whole is the same, why does it take four copies of one tenth to equal two copies of one fifth? Draw a model to support your answer. All right, so I could do this with circles, but Circles are a wicked pain to get right when you're drawing fifths. So I'm going to use rectangles. And we have an example of this above. Because we were looking at this right here in problem number one. That's two tenths and one fifth right there. So this is very similar to that because we're looking at four copies of one-tenth and two copies of one-fifth. So fifths are going to be like that, one, maybe, one, two, three. Now those look more like fourths, don't they? All right, so I'm going to fix it. Oops. pieces are about that big right and so I need one more to make it fifths so that's a great thing about tape diagrams you can just make them a little bit longer to fix them so the parts look equal and I'm gonna do the same thing here fix this one be so the endpoints for the holes have to match and I know tenths are going to have the same, every two tenths is the same as a fifth. So I'm going to take my fifth marks there, and then I'm going to cut each one of those fifths in half to make tenths. So four copies of one tenth, and each one of these is a tenth. And then the two fifths. There's the model that supports my answer. And why does it take four copies of one tenth to equal two copies of one fifth? And my statement is going to say this two tenths equals one fifth. So four. Tenths equals two fifths. And I'm just gonna do that to show that that's where my that's where my units line up. When the whole is the same, how many eighths does it take to equal a fourth? Draw a model to support your answer. We could do the same thing. If you really wanted to do circles here, you could, because fourths and eighths aren't too bad to do with circles. So just for variety's sake, I'm going to do circles. It's hard to get circles to look exactly the same, especially when you can't draw circles very well like me. So, and we kind of already answered this one, because that was 
That's the picture that we were given for number two with the pizzas, fourths and eighths. So here's one fourth and one eighth, one eighth, one eighth, one eighth, one eighth, one eighth, one eighth. I'll shade that in lightly. And I need my answer statement. There's my model that's drawn. And now I need my answer statement. How many eighths does it take to equal a fourth? It takes. And the question here is asked in unit form. So I'm going to answer it in unit form. It takes two HTH two eighths to equal one fourth. Mr. Fam cuts a cake into eight equal sizes slices. Then he cuts every slice in half. How many of the smaller slices does he have? Use words and numbers to explain your answer. All right, so I'm going to draw a picture, and then I'm going to use words and numbers to describe my picture or to explain my picture. So I think this is the cake doesn't have to be round. So he cuts a cake into eight equal slices. There. Now he's going to cut every slice in half. So this is, those are eighths. And now, just to use another color, he's going to cut every slice in half. There. How many of the smaller slices does he have? He has... I mean, we can count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. He has 16 smaller slices. Cutting eight pieces in half. Doubles the number of pieces and eight plus Eight double eight equals sixteen. 